Let's check out another catalogue. This one's the 1980 Hornby Railways catalogue. Starts off with something that'll make every little kid go, oh, wow, look at that dad, look at that dad. And every dad go, I am son. Ooh, I am. Look at that, I mean, that's, that's really good. That's making use of loads and loads of Hornby buildings, track, trains, etc., and scenic accessories. Looks really, really good, really good. So I'm guessing this is the one that all the uh, photographs in the catalogue are taken upon. So into the 80s, a hint of what's new in Hornby circles. Look at this. It's all um, quite quite flash looking, very sort of like Star Wars-y kind of thing. Now, interestingly, whoever does the photographs, or did the photographs, should I say, for these catalogues, has tried something new this time. This time, they're using their new fisheye lens. Absolutely um, pointless. The pictures look rubbish, but here we go. It's something new. So how are we looking? Hornby train sets, probably the finest start you can give. Each set is ready to run excellent value and give hours of pleasure to you. Sorry, to young and old. Now there you go. That's a bit of a uh, graphic design failure right there. Anyway, nice happy family there. You know, nice Edwardian or Victorian fireplace. Look at that with a fire going. We've got a nice rug. We've got the train on the carpet, which is totally not advised. In fact, that also reminds me of my, um, my old house with the alcove and the big fireplace like that. It's, it's rather lovely. God, I can't remember ever having the opportunity to do that there. Anyway, so look at this. Introducing our latest development, the new and exciting ABT set. Now, the advanced passenger train was a marvellous thing. It was in the news and on Blue Peter and in Hornby and that all the time. It was like really amazing and heralded the future. Although being, being typically English from that era, you know, we talk about the era of British Leyland and so on. It was an absolute failure. There we go. So let's have a look. For quality and reliability, our sets are of regal standard. Look at that. That's beautiful, that is. That's the Duchess of, Duchess of, Duchess of Abercorn. Look at that. The Duchess of Abercorn mail set. I love that. I wanted that. I've got the Duchess of Abercorn and I've got a GWR mail coach. And later on, I managed to get the LMS uh, mail coach enough to make it up so the r542 we're going to see as a as a set video shortly yeah look at that isn't it lovely look at that look at that look at that there's loads of pictures to whet your appetite they've really gone heavily into the content on this particular um catalog so you've got pictures of the different uh train sets and trains and buildings in situ you know, made to look real, you know, really, really looking good. All these little sets, look. There's just so much photography and so much information in this catalog. It's gotta be one of the best from that point of view because, you know, some are quite sparse. Some really, really give you food for the imagination. It's almost a lot like looking at uh, a porno mag in effect because you look at it and you you think wow that's amazing and you keep looking at it and you keep it close to hand where you can always find it maybe stuffed under a chair or under your bed where you can grab it at any moment you know it's um it's one of those things you know the 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 youth of today shall he say like some old man don't really understand this don't understand the whole thing of catalogues you know, everything's online, everything's easy. I mean, imagine an Amazon catalogue. You know, for us, it was it was the Argus catalogue was an old faithful friend that we went through time and time again. Oh, look, there's there's a Ginny. I've got one of them. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Look at that. You know, the Argus catalogue, I'd, I'd tick what I wanted, circle what I wanted, fold over the pages so that so that my parents would, would look through at Christmas time or birthdays and hopefully get me what I wanted. 
<laughs> didn't happen but here you go but uh, you know it was an old faithful friend you know and these were very much the same these old Hornby catalogs were revered they were something you looked at time and time and time again look at those beautiful photography in this one you know there's the King Henry VIII I've just got one of those uh, just right through the post today in fact um, a little bit disappointed though because for some reason that says British Rail so I've completely um, messed it up somehow I don't know how here's a nice one the Mallard so thumbs up to anybody out there who bought the Mallard <laughs> there we go let's keep looking through what have we got what have we got on to the diesels boring boring I don't like the diesels. Some people do. There's a 37 again. I know what they are now. Haven't seen one. Nice bit of station photography there. Yeah. Going along. I mean, look at that. Look at that. How many bits and pieces of station do you need? All those canopies. All that glazing. Yeah, I mean, that's marvellous. Marvellous. How about a bit of fine detailing and authentic paint? Choice of coaches. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Look at that. I mean, that, that, that just gives you scale, you know. So it makes it look like something, something more special. You know, some nighttime photography as well. I mean, look, the coach lighting units. Look at that. Isn't that cool? The operating mail coach set. This is playability. This is joy. This is fun for everybody. And we've got the wagons. Marking out which ones are new. There's a Scarwood and the Arnold Sands. The ones that would feature in the R535 set. Along with the McVitie's Bake Better Biscuit. Carry over from the previous GWR sets. Robert's Davy. I've got those. Look at that. Marvellous. Marvellous. There you go. The Texaco tank wagon as well. We've seen that in some of the sets, haven't we? Zero one, the Hornby master control unit. Oh, do you know, maybe I should get one of these. Just buy one off eBay and start fiddling with it just for the sake of it. So you've got loads of detail in here. I mean, this, this is a very, very readable Hornby catalog. You know, there's so much to read. Tell me about chips and <laughs> at the heart of the loco module is the electronic chip, custom designed for Hornby by Texas Instruments, the world's largest semiconductor manufacturer. It's the chip which interprets the coded signal sent out by the microprocessor in the master controller. Oh, and come on, silicon chips. We remember that as a buzzword from the late 70s and early 80s. And I mean, look at that. Look at that. You you would just love to do that. So this is the layout used for photography in this catalogue. So it's been wired and, and what have you, drawn out and wired for the Zero One system. I don't know nothing about Zero One. I need to um, maybe look it up, but it's probably a little bit too complicated for me. Look at that. Look at that. Traditional control systems. You've got everything. You know, how complicated do you want to be? And look at that. Look at that absolute battleship of a setup. What a layout. What a layout. There you go. Onto the track, onto the buildings and accessories, all laid out. This is proper sort of catalogue format. You know, you've got your code number, tells you which page you're in more detail. Yeah, there's everything there. And look, whoever owned this previously, he's he's put a cross there. Does that mean he wants it? Or does that mean, no, wait on, that's ridiculous, ridiculous thing. He's also put the girder bridge and the inclines and the pierce. See, I've just flogged some of those and those on eBay, which I've never used. They came accidentally. So, that's all those. And what else we got? How to plan your layout. Yeah, nothing about software in there. It's all stencils and drawing, which I've done in the past, and how to lay the foundations. I mean, this is a this is a marvelous, marvelous catalog. Just tells you how to do everything. 
you know, it's a proper DIY thing. It's really good. How to cut track, you know. Laying out geography, landscapes, and operating theatres. Features, not theatres. Theatres, not theatres. Theatres, oh, whatever. So there you go. That's them building the actual um, track for the photography. How to feed in the power. Comparing it between zero, one, and the more conventional. Uh, and then creating your stations with the station sets. Marvellous. There you go. There's those big old stations again. Everything in here. Oh, it's it's really one of those ones that you would just spend hours and hours and hours reading because there's everything in there. It even tells you about the different types of signals and gantries and so on. So that is the 1980 catalogue from Hornby. And there you go. There's your fisheye on the front.